Okay, so you've got no money, no hope, and no skill. This is what hatchet runs are for. Now, I never condone the use of only hatchet runs, but if, if we're on the map at the same time, it's a free 100 meter headshot for me, so hatchet run on your own risk. You are going to be my future target if you hatchet run, okay? So when you first absolutely just bust ass into Ollie, you're gonna see a little information kiosk on your right, and inside that information kiosk, there are two computers that can spawn flash drives. Those flash drives are about 60, 70 K right now on the market and they upgrade the intelligence center to level two. By the tech so across that small hallway inside the weird little home furniture store, there's a small chance to find good loot there. There's a CPU this time, but I have actually found Tetris's there before. So it's worth, it's, I, th I think it's worth checking. From the kiosk, we're gonna turn 180 degrees around and head over to the little, to the little tech so across the hallway. And inside the little tech so there happens to be uh, graphics card spawns, 1G phone spawns, they're about 40, 50 K in the market. The graphics cards are about 200k in the market. Then from the tech store, we're going to head up the metal escalator towards the tech light store. And inside the tech light store, there is what happens to be way more tech spawns. This whole map can spawn just so much tech. Inside, there you can find more graphics cards, helixes, all the shit like that. You can find tetrises in the back shelf. Then after looting the tech light, you have a couple options. One, you can either run across the hallway all the way through the store to the other side of the mall, or you can head back down the escalator to the end of that hallway, go through the double doors, and start looting and looking for flash drives, which you can fit in a document container. After you get into the offices, you're gonna find about 40 PCs just chilling in there. All right. Now we're gonna move across Goshan because it's you, know, you got you gotta move across Goshan if you want to get to the other part of the store to check for flash drives. Through the other double doors into the hallway, and in through the other small door into the office area. Now there's about five or six PCs in this area that can also all spawn flash drives. So after that, we're gonna be near the idea store or inside the idea store. Now, inside the idea store, it's a huge sprawling place. Uh, what you're gonna wanna look for is this small little office room. Uh, if, if you're entering from the staircase, it's on your left side against the wall. The door spawns open. Remember that, the door spawns open. It will tell you if someone's inside or not if the door is closed. Now. What you want to do is head in there, and the first thing you're going to see is a small wooden counter. On that wooden counter, you can find things like Tetrises, graphics cards, 1G phones, really good loot spawns, and stuff like that. Search the three PCs inside the room, and then in the back, there are these big blue shelves. Those big blue shelves can spawn more graphics cards, more G phones, and any other loot spawn you can think of. Our last stop, or your first stop, depending on where you spawn, will be the power station. Now the power station is very useful because there, uh, there are another three or four PCs that can all spawn flash drives. There are two to three rare loot spawns and I found graphics cards, Tetris is there again. And after that, you're pretty much free to go, but don't forget there, there are three blue jackets inside the power station now and those blue jackets now spawn keys. I think it's well worth it to keep checking all the jackets on the map because they spawn so much good stuff. Anyways, the strongest part about this is that uh, no matter where you spawn, you can just flip your path. If you spawn towards idea, go into idea, go to the little office, go around back, go into the flash drive area where I'm talking about the two offices by Goshen, then head out from idea in the way back of idea. And you don't have to hit the kiosk because I'm pretty, I'm assuming by this late in the raid, the kiosk is already raided. Go into the tech light, go into tech ho, tech ho, tech light, and then go out and extract and you're free to go. Anyways, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll probably see you later. Good